forms of teaching, be they in school or higher education contexts, should encourage learning to happen. It is therefore important as a teacher to know how people learn and what this means for the understanding of every teacher's role. This is the guiding question that this short video, based on the insights of the psychology of learning, tries to answer. Please have a look at this little scene first. A lecturer is sitting together with a group of students and informs them about a specific type of vehicle. Every student listens, but what they understand is not the same. The pictures in their minds differ and don't correspond to the initial picture of the lecturer. This is exactly what happens while learning. The acquired content is always an individually processed version of the original input, basically a version 1.1. What is being learned and what quality the learning results have is decided by the learners themselves. The lecturer only determines the direction and supports the learning process. This understanding of a teacher's role based on learning psychology contrasts with the still common teaching learning model that in German language areas is called Nuremberg Funnel Model. According to this concept, lecturers transfer their expertise as an exact copy and pour this information into the minds of their listeners. This method typically includes front-of-class lectures in universities in which more than 100 slides are being projected and explained during the course of 90 minutes. The current field of learning psychology defines the learning process as an individual, self-directed and active process of knowledge construction. Individually distinct factors model the learning input conveyed by lectures, moves or videos and make it connectable to knowledge structures that are already present. The results of this internal conversion process of stimuli are altered and complement knowledge structures and behavioral dispositions within the learners. Individual factors in their modeling way that play a vital role in the learning process are, for example, previous knowledge, learning experiences, learning preferences, emotional condition or expectations of the learners. Outsiders can only indirectly influence the learning process. Lecturers cannot make learning, but may only initiate, accompany and support learning process through their learning offers. Learning as such must be done by the students themselves. By using an enabling didactic, as Rolf Arnold calls it, learners are supported in their self-learning by providing adequate learning arrangements. The notion that a teacher is able to purposefully shape learners like a sculptor is replaced by the picture of a gardener that helps his or her participants to grow and develop.